Okay, everybody, just a quick little video here. I think it's something that's important. I may have touched on it again at this point. I filmed so much for the course. I'm not sure if I went over it or not, but I just want to have a quick video focusing on the content aware function, which is a function that you can use to kind of get rid of any unwanted people or objects you may have in a photograph. And I'm, it's really easy and I'm going to show you how. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just get rid of all these people that are in this photo. And it's actually a lot easier than it sounds. So we're going to come up here and we're going to have the lasso tool selected. I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to draw around, clicking and dragging with the mouse, the shape of this gentleman riding his bike. Now you'll notice that if I use the arrows, I can actually move the selection. Okay. Now, a few ways to do this. You can come up to edit and fill and have content aware selected, but a shortcut is just shift F5. If you're a Mac user, same menu comes up. And basically what content aware does is it takes all the pixels that are surrounding what you have selected and just fills it in. Just like the clone stamp, just like the spot healing brush, just a different way to do that. Again, like Photoshop, you can do, there's several ways to do one thing, right? So what Content Aware is gonna do, now that I have this menu up, just click OK and watch. Just like that. Now, it's not perfect. And I'm just gonna draw as close as I can to the shape of him and his bike. Okay, now we're gonna fill it in with the content aware function. And there's a few ways to do it. You can click Shift F5 or Alt F5, depending on Mac or Windows. And then content aware will be the um, default selection. If not, sometimes it's foreground color, background color. Just make sure you drop down, you click the drop down and click content aware. Or you can come up to the top here, edit, fill, and then the same menu comes up. So you're gonna go ahead and click okay. Now watch this. Basically what it was able to do was it was able to take all the pixels around him and kind of fill them in the selection. Now again, obviously you can look and see it's not perfect. It's kind of weird back there. You can always come in and use you know, the spot healing brush and try to kind of maybe blend it in or even the clone stamp tool and just really start to work, work it and try to clean it up a little bit as best as you can. Oops. I'm not going to go in and make it perfect. I just want you to get the general understanding. Now this kind of looks weird here, so you can always go back in with the spot healing brush and just maybe paint over, blend it a little bit. Cool. Okay. And again, it's going to be one of those things where like if I wanted to post this on Instagram, it would be pretty small and you wouldn't even be able to kind of tell what's going on over here if you decide not to fix it. Now let's get rid of this, this lady right here. Same thing. Lasso tool. And if you get to the edge and you just let go, it's automatically gonna snap to, we'll move it over a little bit to get, make sure you get her arm up here. Uh, and again, just shift F5 or alt F5, click okay. And there you go. Pretty seamless. You can always go, again, go in if you, if you feel so inclined and just maybe clean it up a little bit, bring these things down. But in this case, it's very, very, it will, it will go unnoticed if it's not perfect. So it's all for the sake of education. Uh, and again, you can use the marquee tools as well if you wanna select. I just like to use the lasso tool because I can get the exact shape of that person or object. You could see, and then um, you can't really tell that there's anyone there, so there you go. And let's go ahead and use the spot healing brush to get rid of this milk carton, clean up that litter. There we go. There you have it. So if you look at what it looked like when we opened it versus now, big difference. Right? So it's pretty easy. All right, let's do one more quick example while I have you here. So this is a photo of me and my brother in Colorado taken by my other brother. Really beautiful scenic photo. However, these two people 
are a distraction and I want to get rid of them. So again, with the lasso tool selected, just trace over the object, oops, trace over the object. In this case, it's two people. And watch this, Command or Shift F5 or Alt F5, depending on a Mac or Windows. And look at this, bada bing, bada boom. It even took some of the foliage that was over here and filled it in where I had selected. So really cool in here. Let me actually try this because depending on how it's selected and the shape of the selection, you'll get um, a little bit of a difference in how it's filled in. So let's see. Again, content aware, click OK. And yeah, you can even see in that case, there's no branches, no foliage. So I'm actually gonna try one more time because I think the foliage really helps blend in and fill up that what's gonna be empty space. So let's try one more time. Bada bing, look at that, perfect. See, it took some of the foliage and branches from this bush and actually just kind of filled it and mapped it, if you will, right over here, right where the people were. So really easy, really simple. And uh, you can see it doesn't take very long at all. And uh, you, you can notice if, if, if it, you're not really liking the way it's filling in content aware, just go back and try again. And you can see, depending on the selection you have, it'll fill in slightly different. So with that, let's keep going.